Yo, what up? It's Saratoga week, opening week. It's also the Haskell Stakes at Monmouth Park. What else do you need from us? Welcome to the Trust the Profits 10-Minute Rundown, where we're going to be talking about the Haskell Stakes. Uh, this is the YouTube channel that overachieves with respect to its title, because we'll probably go over that 10 minutes. I'm the formula. I'm joined by El Ombre. El Ombre, say hello to the people. What up, people? Right. We are here to talk the Haskell Stakes, but before we do, hit the subscribe button. It's somewhere on the screen. Uh, subscribe, get notifications to all of our our outputs and what else we got we got some premium packages coming up here don't we El Hombre? yeah right now uh the best offer we have is from now today tomorrow whenever you want to get it all the way through november 6th which is breeders cup weekend and it includes all the breeders cup races and everything between now and then guaranteed four cards minimum for the week every race um email us at trust the profits at gmail.com if you're interested uh Otherwise, it'll be posted everywhere on social media. So just contact us through any of those or, or email us. I've had some pretty happy customers lately, I will say. Always good to yeah, hear can... positive feedback from guys who are winning, girls who are winning with our picks. Always good to hear. Yep, we've been treading it up lately. Uh, so that's always good news, like you said. Yeah. Yeah, we're back from vacation. We are full of full of energy, ready to go, ready to hit the Haskell Stakes. Um, as of right now, they haven't done the draw for the Haskell stakes. We are going off of the seven horse slate or seven horse lineup that we have seen, uh, per various there publications. There it is. There it is. So let's go through this one by one. Um, which one you want to show us start at the top hot rod, Charlie. Yeah, let's do this. Um, first of all, the split, you can see the split screen here. Um, you got it on the right side of this is as soon as I can full screen this thing is uh, our top 10 contenders overall uh, that we put together at the beginning of the season and have made a couple adjustments. Obviously, there'll be adjustments after this race, but then on the left side, obviously, uh, the 2021 Haskell Stakes lineup, not the actual lineup, but the uh, probable starters, Right. which at this point looks pretty final. But again, it's Tuesday and they're they're drawing tomorrow, so there could be a change or two, but yeah, do the best yeah. we can. All right, so let's go through these. Number one, we got Hot Rod Charlie. Flavian Pratt in the in the mount um, came in second at Belmont, third in the Derby. This was a hot horse. This is one that we both talked about winning both Belmont and the Derby. Missed out on all the jewels for the Triple Crown, but does he get the big million dollar payout here? Um, the last win he had was the Louisiana Derby. This is an O'Neill trained horse. What do you think here? What you got on this one, El Hombre? How how do you like Hot Rod Charlie in this race? I think he's going to go off as the favorite, the obvious choice, uh, just based on how he ran so impressively with essential quality at the Belmont, ran impressively basically in every race of his career. Um, I get, Most of these horses have one big misstep somewhere right. no one's Anybody, perfect. In, in this race. Uh, Hot Rod Charlie's biggest missteps was getting second and third in major events. So yeah, uh, I think he's going to go off as the favorite, uh, deservedly so. I don't know. I have to see what the odds are going to look like, to be honest with you. Yeah, him. yeah. He does have some some competition here. Your next couple down the line there. Uh, familiar names from the Derby Trail all year. <laughs> I think Hot Rod Charlie is going to go off as like a five to, well, maybe morning line. I think he's going to be five to two. I don't think he's going to be the favorite. I think one of the uh, next couple horses is going to be the favorite, if if I'm honest with you, if, if I'm – Picking at who I think should time, be favored. You're saying at post time or at morning line? A morning line. Morning line. No. You think Hot Rod Charlie is going to be the number one favorite horse? Morning line. Yep. I, I think he's going to be two to one. I think he's two to one. Okay. Somewhere, I don't think he, I mean, you're not wrong at five to two might not be too far of a reach, but I think. Yeah. Because I think there's only three horses that are going to take any money here. Um, I mean, the, the bottom four here, let's be honest, pretty unproven. But I mean, we've seen horses like this come up. And uh, shatter hopes and dreams. Yeah, before it wouldn't be the, you know, wouldn't be the first time. But I think all the money's going on these first three. So where do you see? Um, you see, Hot Rod Charlie is favorite ish. 
Um, yes, I, I think he's one of the top two favorites, in my opinion, right? I think he's one of the, the two best horses in this race. I don't think that's a stretch at all. I do think that he's probably second to the horse that I like best in this race. And um, yeah, I, I think that's, I, I would not, I would not place an exotic bet right now, or I, I would not place any sort of uh, trifecta exact a box without Hot Rod Charlie in it. True. You can't. And um, you can't. You how can't. do you feel about, I, I have a feeling that your, your top choice is not Midnight Bourbon, who is going up That's as correct. the second rated horse here. Yeah. Yeah. Per uh, Horse Racing Nation, they've got Midnight Bourbon, like just a shade, like 0. 0.05 points uh, rated lower than Hot Rod Charlie, which I'm surprised at. Now, Midnight Bourbon, that's that's a horse that that gives me a few more headaches. Switching up jockeys quite a bit. Going with Paco Lopez this time, that's that's not a bad switch up. Got second at Preakness with Irad in the mount. Um, but really, who, who did he beat in Preakness? Right, he, he lost to Ron Bauer. He beat like a Medina a Medina Spirit. I did it again. Um, who was off the juice possibly? And keep me in mind and a couple other horses. It, it wasn't the best Preakness. Um, only time finishing out of the money was the Derby. He finished six. So he's constantly been in the money other than the one race where, you know, there's 18 horses racing. So finishing six is not all that bad. Um, hasn't won since LeCompte. And even the other time before that, uh, the time when he broke his maiden, those are only two wins. Great horse. I'm just not favoring him. And I, I think in terms of where the money is, right, we're, we're looking at three horses where the money's going to be just buried and there's a third horse that i i would like to put above midnight bourbon uh just to get a little bit more action so to speak yeah i i don't i don't disagree i think i think mandaloon's a touch better than midnight bourbon i think that's the direction you're gonna go in here so i'll just beat you to the punch and say it i don't think mandaloon is better than hot rod charlie i've been ah. a hot rod charlie fan all year and i'll stick by that i think this is the one he gets the win uh, I don't think you're going to get paid much for it again because uh, I think yeah, yeah, all three of those horses are going to be like three to one or less. Yeah, and I wouldn't bet. I would say much I less. Bet, I wouldn't bet uh, Midnight Bourbon at three to one even. I think Mandaloon yeah. or Hot Rod Charlie is going to. I think those two are a, a, a slight step above Midnight Bourbon. I wouldn't be shocked yeah. if Midnight Bourbon sticks it in there for second. I don't think he'll win though. I I wouldn't be surprised if both Hot Rod Charlie and Mandaloon go off like below two. Right, they they could be splitting <laughs> the competition to see who gets the uh, post time favorite. I don't um, see the other four taking any money. I mean, I think the other three, right. the other four horses are like ten to one or, or higher. Most right. of them are like thirty to one. So right, and so I was I was digging to see if I could find something that I liked in there. So so Mandaloon, right, could make an argument that Mandaloon won the Derby. <laughs> right, uh, came he in was second awesome in the Derby. He was yeah. awesome. He was awesome. Most of his was awesome. Three-year-old campaign was impressive. Great horse. Yeah. Yeah. Um, won his last two races, if you count the Derby, right? After a disappointing Louisiana Derby. Came in second to a contested Medina Spirit, as we all know. I uh, got Florent Giroux as the jockey. He's been the jockey all along with Mandaloon and has done a great job with that horse. And the last race he won was at Monmouth. So he's already getting sort of familiar with the track for whatever that's worth. He won the Pegasus there in a small field. I think he beat Weyburn was the next highest competition. So it wasn't like it was a great race, but I feel like Brad Cox is doing the right things with Mandalone. And that's just a really solid horse. Probably won the Derby authentic won this race last year. And he won the Derby before that. So if I'm going to bet on any horse, regardless of the odds, it's Mandalone. That's my number one horse for the Haskell stakes. This looks like a hundred dollar exact out of me with hot <laughs> mandaloon box. Right. i don't even think you need a third horse in any boxes here for that yeah yeah uh anything else to talk about with the other four i mean picking time let's i know that was it. a highly as a highly touted two-year-old oh, so yeah let's let's go through it picking time um looked great up to the nashua stakes then he fell apart after thanksgiving maybe too much stuffing i don't know uh three races outside of the money in a row for this breen horse the Remsen, the Mucho Macho Man, the Jersey at, at Monmouth where he took second. To me, this horse is an insta toss. There's nothing that I liked about picking time. Um, who do we got next there? Basso. The only reason I even recognize his name is because I remember him being a highly touted two-year-old at 
yeah, you know, right around the, the beginning of the Kentucky yeah. Derby prep season. Other than yeah. that, I know he got blown out in a race that he should have won. <laughs> and anything since Basso, go. Basso, yeah. So similar to Pick and Time. Um, it's a Monmouth Park horse, but not one that's looked all that impressive. The last three allowance races finished fourth, fourth, and seventh. Again, similar to Pick and Time. His last three races were fourth, fourth, and seventh. Um, you know, it it's hard to make a case for a horse against Hot Rod Charlie, Midnight Bourbon, and Mandaloon when they can't even in an allowance race come in the money right <laughs> so basso to me is an insta toss not getting it done against derby quality horses right and top tier derby quality horses so who we got next here anti-gravity anti-gravity anti broke his maiden on its 11th try raced in five different parks in four different states uh both of its wins were its most recent races its last two races they were both at monmouth a mile and a mile and 70 yards. So he's actually stretched out for the distance. Got Didn't face the level of competition that he's seen in this race. Um, but he actually put up some pretty decent speed figure numbers. I'm not sure who his jockey is going to be because Paco Lopez was his jockey the last two times out. And we know that Paco is going with Midnight Bourbon this time around. So that's a bit of an unknown right now, at least to me. I, I didn't find out before this, uh, this cast. But... This it's is the not horse. Gonna matter. It doesn't matter. No, no, no. This is the horse that I want to package in. I, I want to pick him as the hot hand who's been doing really well the at Monmouth, the late bloomer. A uh, couple great speed figures with wins at Monmouth. It's last two times out. It's my long shot that I'm going to package into either a trifecta or like a three horse exacta box because I'm hoping to catch a, a long shot here. I, Midnight Shrine Bourbon with Hot Rod Charlie and Mandaloon isn't going to pay anything anyway, right? You're going to get $9 yeah, back on a $3 bet, right? <laughs> the only way you're going to make money is if you're confident in the winner and you can ship a big win bet and yeah. maybe double your money on it. Yeah. That's it. So anti-gravity, that's my my long shot finishing somewhere, probably third, but way back there and just edging out some other horse who's way better than him. But what about the next run happy bust here? Uh, following, following C, C. Todd Pletcher, yeah. This is one that I, I want to fall in love with purely based on the trainer, right? It's a Todd Pletcher horse. Um, came in third in its first race, broke its maiden after that, and then came in first again. So he's run three races, came in first the last couple times. But here's the here's the rub on him. Every race he's been in has been a six furlong race, and this Haskell Stakes is nine furlongs. So you're asking him to go against three horses again dirt top tier derby quality horses and like that stretch out three, three more happens. furlongs yeah let, let, let's see him in a uh, some sort of claiming race for you know uh, a mile and a 16th first before we throw him into the haskell against ah, these horses ah he'll do fine <laughs> he'll be 50 <laughs> to your one. nose if right you like him he'll do, he'll he'll do well if you like 50 to 1 <laughs> yeah we 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 could be getting a, a solid fifty to one shot here on on following C. All right, uh, last thing about this because we're we're already way blown out the ten minute rundown. Oh, there it is. We are, aren't we? Uh, on the right side, we have our current top ten. Yeah. How many of these horses do you think could crack the top ten after Saturday, if any? I mean, Hot Rod Charlie's already up there. We got him in the top five. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, Midnight yeah. Bourbon Mandaloon are not in there. Do you think either one of those or both could could be up in this list at some point? I, I think Mandaloon's going to bounce someone out, maybe Tacitus um, or, you know, one of the, the horses we got on the bottom there. But in, in my mind, I think it, of those last four, he could bounce Tacitus or maybe Idol or someone off of there. Um, yeah, I, I do think Mandaloon's going to going to win. So I got to stick to my guns on that. I feel like hot rod. Charlie's probably going to be right there with him, not far off. So I, I think both of those could be in the top 10 after this weekend. I agree. Uh, I think hot rod. Charlie's going to clip mandaloon. I that the, the opposite of you, okay. we have the you same flipped on it, two, but with the same top two, just in different order. Uh, yep. And I think obviously midnight bourbon is the choice for third which is again not going to make you any money so this is a tough right. race to bet i was hoping for at least one more legit contender in here which we didn't get but you kept begging for a rombauer in our chat yeah, i, I saw that yeah well, that, that would have been great rombauer are you talking about four horses like that yeah because rombauer would have been a huge wild card yeah because of what he did in the preakness um he beat he beat midnight bourbon before 
he definitely would have made an interesting tri trifecta box bets and stuff like that. But yeah, yeah. I mean, this is what we got, folks. Yeah. So, anything else before we close out? Let's let's get ready for the Haskell. The uh, Breeders' Cup Challenge Series races are hardcore up and running now and uh we're starting to see the breeders cup classic field come together which is cool yeah let's get ready for the haskell let's get ready for saratoga opening week for saratoga that's pretty exciting too always a good time that that first the first thursday slate they've got golden pal coming out of uh uh bc retirement there i mean we thought we'd never see golden pal Maybe. again and then <laughs> yeah good to see him back yeah there's some big uh some nice turf stakes races there. oh yeah oh yeah all right that's All it. Right. That's it. Thanks Let's everybody do it. for joining. Peace.